teased. If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I have a bunch of WWE action figure fix-ups to show you guys. No customs in here. Well, I guess one of them is sort of a custom, if you want to say so. We'll get to that in just a second, but uh, I have a ton of fix-ups right here. A ton means seven or eight or so. But um, you guys can see here, we do have the figures all lined up. I believe that uh, I haven't really shown you guys a bunch of fix-ups besides on, I think, Sunday's video. I showed you quite a few, but in the last few days, I have worked on some. And then I figured there were some that I never showed you guys, so why not go ahead and get into that? And so let's go ahead and dive right in. So we'll start off We'll start off with John Cena right here, guys. We'll start off with this Elite 40 John Cena, as you can see, with his 2015 blue armbands and stuff like that. The only thing I did to this thing was I took the shoes off. If you guys have seen this figure before, it used to have the black and lime green shoes on there. And so I went ahead and I took my Elite 49 Enzo Amore and I popped his Air Jordan 12 Lowe's on there in the uh, blue color right here and you guys can see by the picture on the screen that's the shoes it's supposed to be but Mattel just gave us the same Cena shoe mold here and uh, they painted the the right you know thickness of the front of the of the shoe on there but um, they didn't give us a new mold obviously because you know they can't uh, replicate Jordans that would uh, be a copyright issue but um, I switched these on there. You can see that it does match with the blues. The blues are the exact same, and I think this is really fire. Um, you know, you didn't have to paint anything. It's just a certain shoe swap. It really completes the figure now, and uh, a, a more fire-looking John Cena. So that is the start of our fix-ups video. I think that looks pretty good. Probably one of my favorite fix-ups in today's video. The next one isn't very much of anything at all. It is the TNF American Alpha Chad Gable, and you can see here all I did was I switched on some Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins arms and then put his hands in there. That way he has the thin black wrist tape. And I think these arms fit pretty good for Chad Gable. You know, he may look a little bit skinny, but it's not too big. But I, I think the uh, black wrist tape looks better than the white wrist tape that he originally had. You know, it ties in better to the black and blue and silver attire. So that is that Chad Gable. Not too much of that at all. Next up, we have Elias. And I think I've seen quite a few people post this, but I don't think I've ever showed you guys. Elias is right here, and I use the Razor Ramon Walmart Exclusive Flashback Series Elite. You can see right here, this is pretty much another fix-up right here. You take the shirt off, and you have a shirtless Razor Ramon with a toothpick and the chains looking all fresh to death. But there's Elias. I think the Hawaiian-style shirt and everything really pops off. I really like the way Elias came out with this shirt on there. So we do have Elias to add to our fix-ups as we put him back in line here. Here's another fix-up that if you guys watch Sold Out, you'll remember this one. I did have to switch out the head scan because at Sold Out, Dean Ambrose got bloodied up. He got beaten to death by Seth Rollins. Um, so I had to switch on a new head scan. That head scan got completely ruined with the red paint. It got seeped into the forehead. I literally scrubbed it for 30 minutes, could not get it out. So I figured I have 150 of those. Why not just throw it away and pop on an extra Dean Ambrose head scan? So that is Dean Ambrose right here. We took the Epic Moments Shield 3 pack. And you know that sh that figure comes with two t-shirts already. So I ditched those and I took one of my extra Elite 48 Dean Ambrose shirts and I cut the sleeves off and now you have like a street fight slash just uh, heelish looking Dean Ambrose. I like the way this came out a lot. You got the black wrist tape, the Dean Ambrose shirt and everything. Um, I think the crazed head scan would look better on this figure like it did. It sold out. However, I think it's still a really good fix up and uh, it's still a good head scan. So we have that Dean Ambrose fix up. Next up, we have Adam Cole Bebe with his Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase from the PickFed. If we remove that, you guys will see this is the Epic Moments 3-pack Undisputed Era Adam Cole, as you can see there on the tights. And all I did was I switched some bigger legs on here. I think it's Bo Dallas legs. These legs were originally on my custom Adam Cole. And so I switched these on there. I switched on some smaller black knee pads because those massive ones were just way too big. And then I came in and switched out his boots with solid black boots because Adam Cole is in Bullet Club in my pick bed. So I didn't want his Undisputed Era logos everywhere. So, And then, of course, he has his T-shirt and his Money in the Bank briefcase. So everything ties in well here, and it makes for a perfect Bullet Club Adam Cole. If you wanted to make that, there you go. Really happy with the way Adam Cole came out. Next up is probably my favorite fix-up. I, I know I said Cena is probably one of my favorites, but this one right here is pretty much a full-on custom. Um, as you guys will see, the parts that we use right here, we have Aiden English in all of his gear. Um, it is a Rusev Day Aiden English, I guess you could say. We have his black shades on here. We have Elias' scarf. 
we have the GameStop exclusive Chris Jericho scarf on there. And then pretty much what we're looking at is an Elite Sheamus. This is an Elite Sheamus torso, shoulders, and crotch piece. I popped the Battle Pack Aiden English head scan and arms on there. I painted the blue, the navy blue part of the wrist tape. I painted that black. That way, you know, it's completely blacked out. And then I popped some X-Pac legs on there. And then Heath Slater lower legs and then Sheamus boots. So I acetoned all those logos off. And now uh, we have a plain black attire, Aiden English. And I think this looks really solid. I can't wait to compare it to the brand new Elite 65 Aiden English, which you can go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and pre-order that Aiden English right now. Um, looks like a pretty good set that's going to be coming out very soon. So we have Aiden English in all his glory with all of his accessories. I think it came out really nicely. And um, we may be seeing him pretty soon in MDT. Who knows? But we do have Aiden English with all his gear and his sunglasses and all that ish. So we can put him back in line here with Adam Cole and the Money in the Bank briefcase. And then our final fix-up right here, guys, is John Morrison, one of my favorite wrestlers. I love John Morrison to death. Wish he would come back to WWE, but he is tearing it up in the indie scene and Lucha Underground and everything right now. Um, as you guys can see, what I did was I popped off the original head scan, which was an absolutely awful head scan. It just it looked like a Johnny Nitro to me. Like it, it just didn't look like you know grown man looking John Morrison. So what I did was I popped off the Elite 4 head scan, which is what this figure is, and I popped on the Elite 10 John Morrison head. I had an extra one, and I need to touch it up with some paint and stuff like that. It could definitely use like a rehaul, but uh, I think this head scan works way better. It, it just makes John Morrison look a lot better. I love the orangish red color with the black and silver with this head scan with the Fu Manchu mustache beard type going on, like the handlebar mustache and everything going on. Um, really enjoyed that, and then I think I switched on smaller arms, maybe. I don't, nah, 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 nah I didn't. I'm, I'm stupid. But uh, John Morrison's looking fresh, and you'll actually know um, when I popped the head scan off to do this fix up, I actually snapped the effing neck peg, so I had to then torso crack the hoe, put a new neck peg in, and then seal that glue shut, and then pop this head scan on there. So I had to do like a complete action figure surgery on John Morrison to get it right, but we did finally get that. And then these are actually Macho Man glasses. These are not John Morrison Elite glasses. So if you guys have um, extra Macho Man glasses and you don't have John Morrison ones, you can use the Macho Man ones and they will, uh, they will work just as good. They obviously don't have the crosses on them, but I think it looks fresh to death. You know, he's got the white outlines. Oh my God. He's got the white outlines on there and he, he's looking good. So John Morrison right there. Current MDT Extreme Champion on MDT Live. We got Aiden English in the house, and I think it was pretty successful fix-ups, guys. I'd like to know your thoughts on all of them here today. Um, and if you guys do any of them, if you guys get inspired and want to do any of these for your own collection, if you guys will uh, fix those up, if you customize them or whatever, and you make the same ones you see in today's video, uh, post it on your Instagram or post it wherever, and I will give you a shout-out in my story on Instagram if you guys uh, do any of the fix-ups you see here today. But I guess that's pretty much it for all today, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, again, let me know your thoughts on all the fix-ups and customs here today. Again, not very many customs, I would say. Just more of simple part switching and stuff. That's what a fix-up is called there. But uh, I think my favorite is Aiden English. And then um, I really love the simplicity of Adam Cole, John Morrison, and Dean Ambrose is his own creative way. Uh, Chad Gable, probably my least favorite. It's not much, but an arm swap. And then John Cena looking fresh with his Jordan 12 lows on there. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Adam Cole, baby.